Ashley. And I'm Kayla. We're back from Australia. But in New Zealand. And you're watching Fun for Louie. Today is my last day in New Zealand. I'm just about to pack up and go with Thomas back to Auckland. I'm just gonna get my bags ready and say goodbye to the family. But guys, I'm feeling very excited about life right now. Me and Rob went for a little walk on the beach today, uh, this morning, and I'm feeling alive, really alive. Guys, I've got this habit of just unpacking everything and I've just got such a mess of things to pack into those bags for the journey. So I've packed all my camera stuff, all my clothes. All right, Thomas, are you ready? It's time to go, guys. I'm all packed up. It's been amazing hanging out with you guys this weekend, and Jake. And uh, enjoy your time here, until next time. Thanks, great yeah. having you. Thanks. You're awesome Lou, as always, absolutely yeah. awesome. See you later Josh. Haste you back as they say in Scotland. See you later. Haste you back. Bye Jonah. Bye. Well, I'm off. It's always a little bit strange, even though my whole life is constantly I guess leaving places and arriving at places. It's always a little bit strange when you've been hanging out with close friends for a short amount of time and then having to head off. But uh, like I said, such an incredible time just for relaxing and getting some headspace and stuff. Look at this nutter in his tractor. <laughs> Just stopped for some fuel. I've, uh, I've had to grab some energy drinks as well because I'm flagging a little bit. Driving uh, with little sleep is um, a bit exhausting, so a little bit of a uh, little bit of caffeine and uh, onwards to Auckland they're making good time though I'm in Auckland and I uh, managed to make the drive in good time, uh, actually perfect timing. I've just filled up because you need to leave the camper van back at the rental place with a full tank and I'm, uh, I'm going to be meeting JP there, he's going to give me a lift to the airport and we're going to grab some lunch before I jump on my flight, which is cool. Oh, that's a, that's a good drive. Now I'm going to get on a 12 hour flight to San Francisco and then a, another five hour one to Orlando. Here we are. Just dropped off Thomas and, uh, and now JP and me are going to go get some food, I'm hoping, before I, before I get on my flight. Boom. Mm -mm. Don't die, dude. I breathe in some of this soup, guys. Woo! That's my seat. It's almost time for me to go through security to my flight. 
Me and JP have had uh, an exciting chat. We've been make, making some uh, plans. Can't tell you about them yet, but it's pretty exciting. So uh, I'll keep you posted. Exciting plans, aren't they? Very, very much so. Right, I'm going through security. JP's off. See you later, man. I'll see you maybe April. Maybe. <laughs> cool. Bye. Station. I've just been served dinner as well, watching a cool film, and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have a little sleep. Hopefully, I can curl up in a little ball here. Landed in San Francisco, and uh, I need to check through immigration into the States, and then I'm catching my connecting flight to Orlando, Florida. The craziest thing is, guys, I left at 7:30 p.m. on the 3rd of February, and I've arrived at 10:30 a.m. on the 3rd of February. So I've gone back in time nine hours. That is insane. Why would you carpet the floor of an airport? That is not cool. It means I can't use my penny board. We'd like to welcome you to Orlando, where the local time here is 9 p.m. We'll be taxiing for the next few minutes. Thank right, you. Orlando, Florida. Guys, I've seen the sun set twice today on the same day. So crazy. Well, I'm here at Arrivals and Nick and Andrew are about to arrive and Raya. And then we're gonna go get some food because I'm so hungry. Aeroplane food is not satisfying. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of editing whilst I wait. Yeah! <laughs> Family's reunited. Wow, how was your flight? Fun? Um, Fun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right no, yeah. Come back. So uh, it's, to it's good to see you guys. <laughs> so this is our friend Andrew, he's come to pick us up. Yo, man. We have some space issues because Andrew's got a massive sub that literally fills up his whole boat. It's not really big enough for this. How are we going to fit these bags in? And you just have this bag on your lap, yeah? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you guys good back there? Oh my goodness. I'm actually quite spacious right here. Right. Can we just hot <laughs> air cut even more? finished eating I'm very satisfied guys and it's just gone midnight and uh, I've realized this is probably the longest day of my life that I've ever had because of the time zone differences and stuff uh, so yeah I'm a little bit tired I've had four hours sleep and uh, we're now heading to our hotel I managed to get my upload done as well whilst we we're in TGI's oh yeah I forgot we've got like a million bags Andrew's off. Thanks for picking us up. Yeah. So Nick, tell us who Andrew is. So, <laughs> I didn't tell everyone. Yeah. So 
we we had like a bunch of guys who kind of started becoming a bit popular on story when we were in the beta and he was one of them and so we just met and he offered to pick us up because he lives here awesome so they should check him out story should they yeah, yeah, check him out story. i'll link him below well we found our room and everyone is just conked out long flights all day I'm glad we got here a few days before playlist starts because we need to get over our jet lag and just relax. Um, apparently, when we checked in, the woman told me apparently there is hot tubs in caves behind the waterfalls outside. So I'm going to go and investigate tomorrow when I wake up and find these magical hot tubs. That's definitely the first thing I'm going to do. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.